All right, we're also following breaking news here closer to home. A large fire creating a lot of smoke. Chances are you might smell it. It's happening near the Valley View Bridge. Yeah, we know that it's happening at the Kurtz Brothers Landscape and Supply Center in Valley View. News 5's Mike Holden joins us live from that scene. These are some stubborn flames here, Mike. Oh, yeah, the wind is not helping matters, Tiffany and Mike. It just kicks those flames and the smoke back and forth, making visibility really challenging for drivers coming over the 480 Valley View Bridge. And you can see a number of emergency responders are trying to deal with this and kind of battle this from each and every angle. Again, this is all playing out right off of Canal Road in Valley View. The closest landmark is Cinemark for anybody waking up, but it's nowhere near where this is burning. And those flames in smoke, or shooting toward the Valley View Bridge. We want to stress and point out to everybody that's watching this morning, it does not appear in any way, shape, or form that the Valley View Bridge is being threatened. It's just causing major visibility issues for anyone that's driving through this area. And for perspective purposes, we are at a very safe distance. We are actually shooting this fire from Garfield Heights. We're technically steps away from the Applebee's parking lot. But for anybody driving through right here along the Valley View Bridge, the smoke as well as that orange glow can be seen in the eastbound lanes. And I also want to point out, too, I mean, you're probably smelling smoke from at least four or five miles away. Photojournalist Dave Kraska, who's manning the camera this morning, and I, we were driving right around 445, 450 this morning. We started smelling the smoke right by the 490 bridge at least five miles away. But I want to give you some perspective as far as drivers passing by. And, Dave, if you can pan over a little bit, I'm sorry, it's hard to make out. Um, traffic's moving free-flowing. There's no issue at all whatsoever. The primary concern, though, is getting this fire contained. And Trent McGill, who has been checking the forecast throughout this morning, and we've been kind of corresponding back and forth through text messages. Trent, you've been saying the wind and then the rain moving through, as well as trying to contain this, it's a challenging situation for sure. Yeah, definitely. And that wind shouldn't back off until maybe midday into the afternoon. So, uh, Mike, you're about to get wet, you're about to get rained on, and you've got continued wind still gusting at times even more so than it is now. Winds gusting now to about 30. They'll pick up to maybe as high as almost 50, so 40 to 50 mile per hour wind gusts later on today. That's for everybody. I mean, we can smell the smoke. Mike was talking about the smoke. We can smell it here in the studio. 